Hello once again. I'm back. I'm making another pack punch video. I should have had this one done a long time ago. It's been sitting on the computer for like a month. I've just been lazy and busy. So when we left off on building the plane, this is what happened. You take off. Surprise. And then you hit the storm, and then you go, what the heck? I'm dead, right? Nope. I mean, just like, what the fuck? What is this shit? Exactly like what Billy said. Billy? What about you? Here's the upgraded Uzi, Uncle Gal. Decent weapon, it gets one extra mag. You know, they really messed up these pack punches. Before, all the other pack punches, you either got more ammo in the mag, and a lot of ammo in reserve, and some crazy cool attachment. These ones, they just give you one extra mag. And no attachments. Except for a couple other stuff. There, is, there are a couple little others, but it's mostly the AK-47, the 1927, and the Uzi. They just give you an extra mag, and then say, that should be good enough for these guys. And it's not, it's really. And it's, like, it's where you don't even want to use any of these wall weapons at all. It's kind of not nice. They kind of screwed us over. And they're all pretty much weak. All these weapons are weak. Like, um, uh, die rise. They were strong. The wall weapons? Freaking amazing. But these ones are just garbage. This one, the blunder get, it's up here. The best. The sweeper. This thing's freaking amazing. I mean, it looks awesome. It is very powerful. There's nothing really bad with it. It's the weapon to have. Depending on your style. I just want to understand. I'm kind of jumping ahead. I'm looking for me. It just depends oh, on your style. What upgrade you'd rather have for a blunder jet. And this thing has incredible range. It really does. I mean, I'll show it in just a bit. Dude. That is some good range for a freaking shotgun. And what's also awesome about this is that it, you can just pull the trigger and pull the trigger again. Instead of pull the trigger and you got the others, are they behind me? Yeah. I will explain that. But anyways, we're gonna go with the Reznov's Revenge. It really should have been the Kalashkinov's Revenge, but you know, with Reznov and the original Black Ops and this Black Ops and World at War, they just it's kind of clever. To Anyways, this Rizzo's Revenge is the only one that actually have an explosion. When you do have an attack. 
it would be this I don't think it does. I have a testing trying to I do. And I guess I should explain this one. That is actual sweet. To the okay. There's two ways of getting it. You can either do it sweep away, or you do it in a blunder block. Yes, I just made that up. The sweeper is back point version of blunder block. Okay, turn into that. Or you can put the blunder gat. Acid gap kit, and then pack the Don't think so. And that achievement was for surviving a whole round on the bridge without going down past wave 15, 15 and above. <clears throat> so, here's the blunder gap. Ah, it's just thing. the acid gap. Now, acid gap, pretty awesome. But sucks. Cool concept, it just sucks. Um, like what it says down there, it has the same effect as monkeys, it just, the duration is very short, you'll see. How much did that hurt? Huh? Not very long. And uh. it doesn't give them enough time to really, oh jeez, oh god, oh man, oh. oh bring it on. Alright, anyways, it doesn't give them enough time to actually like, conjure towards the health. Brief little bit. You get a lot of ammo. It's good. So it's pretty awesome. I had that BSR since freaking wave 10, I think it was. And it got me all the way to 34. Just those two weapons. Nothing else. I couldn't believe it. I went down a lot. But anyway, right here here's. Still the acid gap. Vitrolic wither. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Vitriolic withering. Vitrolic something. I'm just gonna say it's badass. It works. The duration of the acid canisters are much longer. Very I'll shaky. It's typical for a first person camp. You have to pay attention. It took quite some time. To work. See, they're all conjuring. You know, they have time to actually go to it. Here's the death machine. This one's pretty cool. Puzzle just makes you feel like you're the, um, uh, I haven't played Gears of War in such a long time, uh, I don't even know what he was called, I think he was called Grinder, a Grinder, whatever, you get my point, you played that game, Trust me, I know how to it makes you feel like that, you know how I feel. yeah, you get a lot of animation, you get one extra reload, or just one extra reload, and that's it. It's pretty powerful, but also uh, weak at the same time. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It's weak but strong. It's weak if you're just blasting away at their bar. It's so bored, it's ridiculous. But it's almost like a one shot kill. And it has to be like a direct hit. And that was down. If you go down pretty fast when you shoot in the head, with any weapon really. But it's just better that way. Whatever. 